Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at how you can sketch over engineered data or over really any model that you import into Gravity Sketch from another program and just show you how it can be beneficial in ideating through a process or a concept. So what we have here is just some simple components for a hand vacuum. We have a, a chamber, we have uh, some filters, we have an impeller, a motor, battery power source. And so what's going on here is just we're sketching out over three different architectures that we've laid out here, a very linear architecture and two sort of L-shaped architectures. And we're just sketching over to see what sort of results we can get and what sort of shapes we can have for the, for the enclosure. And one of the huge benefits of working this way is you're able to solve problems in 3D in real time. And so when you're working off of an engineer or, or CAD data and drawing over it, you can place where buttons will be, where switches will be, inputs. You can even move the components where you want them to be and adjust them to your aesthetic design. Um, and so you can see here, we're working on just another concept here, working on the switch. You can also get an idea of different hand holding positions. So for this product, this is a hand vacuum. And so we're getting a different feel for how we can hold the device in different situations and how that affects the architecture. So just sketching in another handle here. You can really play with character lines and, and the design of the product while staying constrained to the 3D data. And that's the real key here is that you're solving problems while still in that free sketching state. And so we can see here is you can draw little lines to show the airflow and just to further understand and prove the design. Now we can just turn on the airflow again because we put those on separate layers. And so the final step would be to do more sketches or add surfacing. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe.